Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Fair Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to uh, look at uh, the analysis of gold. Uh, on a larger time frame analysis, uh, as you guys are aware of it, I changed my forecast. I was strongly bearish and then uh, this price behavior did not get along with our analysis and then I had to take the other side of the market which is bear bullish now. So I believe that we have either completed the correction right over here in this region or over here. <clears throat> in both cases we have this impulsive movement and this corrective movement. That's how at least we are looking at the market right now. On a 4 hourly time frame let's have a look what happened. So let me uh, first of all delete this. And uh, we were really, I was really passionate when prices came out of this channel. Uh, and uh, we were looking for the prices to actually continue on upward and that has not happened honestly. So let me delete this for a while and look at the price as what they are right now. <coughs> Initially we were, uh, pardon me for coughing. Initially we were looking at it as a W, X and Y. Uh, so is there a possibility that this is another X? There certainly is a could be a possibility. The reason because the prices have not moved uh, as much uh, in, in a behavior that we were expecting. So there could be a possibility that we can consider this as wave A, wave B and wave C and then we should expect the prices to come along. There's still another possibility that the, the five wave structure actually we were ex ex considering that this is going to be um, wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then continue on wave 5 instead it looks like there's a second possibility is that wave 5 has completed right over here so we can consider this as wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 let me quickly label it and then we'll delete that so by what I mean is right over here on a smaller time frame we can say that we probably have completed a 5 wave structure or we can also consider it as an X giving us an indication what does that mean giving us an indication that the prices are expected to go down now. Uh, first of all, the price for now is not respecting this channel that I've drawn. And a lot of time when prices come out of the channel, they actually uh, respect that channel and we are seeing not this not happening. So right now I'm a point of the view that we are forming a head and shoulder pattern. So here we can see we have a head and then we have left shoulder and left shoulder and then we have right shoulder and right shoulder. So I'm expecting basically prices to further down or you can consider it in terms of Elliott wave analysis you consider it as a W and an X and an Y. So basically I'm considering this as a zigzag correction and a flat correction and I'm expecting that this is going to be a zigzag correction. So the reason I said there's a and we came up, uh, I con considered the alternate labeling that this p movement can either be considered a uh, impulse wave or we can also consider it as an X. Reason because if you look at the price action, it has actually kind of approximately equal to the price action right over here. So right now we have both options open right over here. So there's a possibility that when prices expect come down, uh, they could actually either stay in this range right over here or they can also form a new bottom. So next couple of days, that's what I'm looking at the market right now. Although non-form payment, uh, non-form non payrolls are expected on Friday uh, morning, are scheduled on um, Friday morning. Uh, I'm expecting that the price, uh, the market is going to uh, consider that or price that in uh, starting today. We have already seen prices drop and a correction. I'm expecting that we will see probably a larger leg of the correction right over here. There could be a possibility that we might see a new low or we might see the prices in this region. I wanted to bring it up so that if someone is actually bullish on my call on smaller time frame analysis, should come out. I had a trade which I had taken right at this point. I was lucky enough to get it a year, but I am out of that trade right now and I'm waiting for the market, especially for the, the bullish turn. I'm waiting for the market to give me a clear indication uh, whether it's going to create a a low right over here or a further down right over here. Let's have a look. For now I'm keeping the channel alone. There's a quite possibility that we, if this happens to be a correction then prices will probably go up and uh, retest the channel. So that's the reason I'm right now considering. One very important point I also wanted to discuss is if I is a percentage analysis. I've done the percentage analysis for this right over here. 
and we can see that the initial resistance for this price movement came in at a 50 percent and then what we are what is also expected that we are seeing support coming in for this price movement as well or the resistance for this particular line uh, wave a wave b and wave c for wave c we can see the resistance coming uh, at 12.5 percent as well uh, giving this is a certain behavior when par prices actually kind of vibrate in between the support and resistance and giving this an indication uh, there is a possibility that we are more likelihood that we are looking downward right Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.